It's not easy to become a chef, don't we know that? Traditionally, cooks spend years working their way up the restaurant ladder, but a California teenager who taught himself is well on the way to his dream job. Last night, contributor Jamie Wax sat down for a meal. Jamie, good morning. How good was it? Oh, it was fantastic, Nora, really. Good morning. Flynn McGarry has been cooking since the age of 10. That's when he started teaching himself techniques by studying cookbooks and watching videos on YouTube. He runs a monthly dinner club in his mom's house, and last night in New York, he treated 80 guests to a $160 eight-course tasting menu. Just keep adding charcoal to it, too, just like a couple pieces. 15-year-old Flynn McGarry has spent the last few days in this New York City kitchen. Every time that you mix it, I need to taste it. Preparing dishes like green mussels, duck roulade, and blanched asparagus. The sought-after chef, not yet old enough to drive, has come a long way from his mom's Los Angeles kitchen. How did this passion you have for preparing food at this level start? It started when I was... When I was 10, I, um, my mom wasn't the, she wasn't really into cooking and... Uh, Are you being polite there? I'm being a little polite. Carla Rubin, who often hosts dinners prepared by top chef finalists and celebrity chefs like Jamie Oliver, invited Flynn to cook in her company's New York kitchen. Of all the events that you've done, is this the most enthusiastic yeah, you've seen uh, people? Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, uh, and he's the most unknown of all the chefs, so he is really drawing a lot of interest. Is this a gimmick on some level? There is absolutely nothing gimmicky about him. If he were 35 years old, yeah. would this tasting menu and this hype be worth it? Yeah, 100%. Flynn, who recently appeared on the cover of the New York Times Magazine, is receiving praise from food fans and culinary masters alike. But he's also become a target of some criticism on the internet. I try to take it all with a grain of salt uh, for a great pun, food pun. You're going to get a little phased by it, but I think it also kind of builds up, builds up a tough skin. In a so kitchen, you'll, you'll get said worse things than somewhere. on the internet, and it's just like, oh, that's, that's nothing anymore. As a guy who loves to be challenged and to rise above low expectations, have the haters helped you on some level? That's my favorite thing ever. It's when someone comes and wants it to be bad and leaves happy, that's like you completely flip their opinion with your talent, and that's kind of like a very, uh, something that you don't see that often. Flynn's mother, Meg, traveled with her son to New York. The last four years of your life, a large part of it, have been to serve this ambition of, of your son, even giving these huge pop-up dinners in your own home. I started inviting friends and friends and friends and friends, and then suddenly I found, I, you know, I had 20 people in my living room. So that was when I realized, you know, there was no stopping him. Diners who enjoyed the first of Flynn's two-night guest appearance in New York would seem to agree. It's delicious. What do you say to people who, who try to point out that by focusing on this obsession of yours and this passion of yours that that you've robbed yourself of some element of your childhood or some part of that i'm not really missing out on anything because this is all i want to do and also i mean i had 10 years of childhood i think that i think that that's enough i <laughs> that, mean that was I, plenty for you that was plenty for me <laughs> at 10 i was like i'm done i'm gonna go work in kitchen <laughs> I'm never satisfied, down to the smallest detail. It's why I don't think I'm going to burn out, because I'm never satisfied. Flynn wants to move to New York to cook and hopefully one day open a Michelin-starred restaurant. Tonight will be his second night of dinners here in New York, and maybe he'll make some more connections between courses tonight. Yeah, as soon as he went out, he's done with childhood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. An amazing kid, really remarkably self-possessed. And self food was good. Delicious, oh, beautiful I like courses. him. It's great to find your passion so early Absolutely. in life. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Jamie, thank you so much. Thank you, Nora.